Hey Panthers, good afternoon. I'm really sorry that I'm not able to be with you today. I'm attending a meeting downtown, so I am hard at work, but I'm not able to work with you this afternoon. Panthers, we're going to start uh, with the thing I would ask you to start with, even if I were here. On Monday, right at the end of class, you guys worked on this uh, exercise on, on the index cards. You said let f of x be the function 4 minus x squared and let g of x be 3x plus 5. Ask you to find two things. Panthers ask you to find the product f times g of x and ask you then to find composition of functions f of g of x. Now, Panthers, you've got four sets of student work here. Uh, these are four of the students in our class. It doesn't matter if you see your work or if you don't. Uh, so, like, here's, here's one set here. Here's a second set here. And then you got to turn the paper sideways to see the other two. So there's a, a third set here and then a fourth set here. Panthers, we'd like you to take about three minutes and look carefully at this work and try to decide what you like and what you might change. So we're going to pause the video right now and give you a chance to take a look. All right, Panthers, let's come back together. Let's take a look at some of the student work. Uh, admittedly, I've not looked too closely at this. We'll start looking here. This student, uh, to me, seems to know what uh, is expected to find f times g, multiply the two functions together. I like very much the way this is organized, the use of that box method to multiply. So 4 times 3x is 12x. Negative x squared times 3x is negative 3x cubed. 4 times 5 is 20. And negative x squared times 5 is negative 5x squared. That is all good. Uh, it turns out none of those terms are like terms in combined. So any order in which you write these four terms works. This is, I believe, the correct answer for f times g of x. Okay? Um, and we'll just take a look maybe at the f times g's real quick. I think this student maybe missed a minus sign on the x uh, cubed term. Okay? So uh, that's not quite exactly what we're looking for, but still pretty good work. Here I believe uh, one of the ones that sideways is another correct representation of f times g. And uh, a little hard to tell. Look, can't help us a plus or minus. I think it's a minus that works as well. So generally what I saw on Monday afternoon was really good work with f times g. And most of the mistakes that I saw were in the details. Okay, Where I know we need to work a little bit more, uh, and it's fine if you take some time today to continue working on that, is on the composition f of g of x. So remember to find f of g of x. We're really asking you to find f of g of x like so. So you're going to take function g and stuff it inside function f. Okay. Now the challenge that I have here, this work, I see function g represented. So just to, to highlight this a little bit, I see this as function g, and I believe that is correct. But I don't like the choice here uh, in choosing what function f would be. I don't think a 3x minus 4 is, is part of, of any of, of what was given. Okay, So this isn't very close to correct, although I do like what we've got here. I really liked the work that this student did to show the organization of what's going on. That f of g means to take f of 3x plus 5. What I'm not sure I entirely agree with is what happened here. It looks to me like this student then reverted to putting g inside function f. I actually think that this is g of f of x. Because this is my function f, and it is inside as the input function g. So I don't think this is going to lend us the correct answer either. Okay. I want to look at the one on the bottom right that's turned a little bit sideways. So here is function g of x. And it has been correctly put inside function f. Function f is 4 minus whatever the input squared is. So I believe this to be correct. Now I have a problem here. Did you catch it? This is not how you go about squaring 3x plus 5, Panthers. To square a binomial, you need to multiply the binomial by itself. I think the best representation of 
at least the closest to what I'm looking for is this work right here. Here is 4 minus 3x plus 5 squared. You know, this student didn't show that work or write that step down, but it's clear that this student uh, knows what to do. This student then said, I'm going to write that binomial squared as it times itself. I believe this to be the correct multiplication of that. Uh, so the student here then combined some like terms and distributed the negative sign through and then combined the like terms that are here. And I like both of these answers. I think that this is correct. And I think we talked on Monday about how you can use a little bit of style points. That works too. But either one of these would get you full credit, Panthers. Hey, thank you for taking a look at your work and analyzing it. Uh, we're going to take just a second now to transition into today's lesson.